If you have tried removing contaminants on a white work truck that has not been probably detailed in years, those orange dots, they won't come off. You can't clay them off. You can't ferrex them off, iron X, whatever. They will not come off. Check out this method because this might save you the way it saved me. I hope you can see what I see as we get closer and it's not just the swirls you see all those orange dots all those contaminants pros out there know this sort of quadrant is very prone to contaminants to tar coming up from the ground but it's always an area that I make sure if I'm gonna clay the car that I hit this well you're gonna have to trust me on this polishing alone is not wanting to take care of this so, staying within the optimum system because it's a place of comfort for me when there are a lot of other variables. I've got hyper polish on my pad. Time to attack these nasty orange specks, right? The process looks like this. Ferex on the panel as a clay lube. Wait till you start to see the purple streaks, gives you a sense where your efforts are really needed. And then you can go in there, and you probably don't need this much lube. You can start to see the purple activate, but usually it's gonna take a little bit longer. I see some spots here, some orange spots here. As soon as that starts to activate, I'll get the polisher going and we'll start chopping away this, uh, this contamination. Now here's the sledgehammer. You can see how that started to break down. We've polished over here. There's just a lot of stuff on this paint still. Let me expand on this method, um, on this Audi S3. Uh, if we take a look, I've actually sprayed the whole panel with Ferrex, and I'll spray a little bit more to get the lubrication going, but I've already clayed this with a clay towel, and there's just a little bit left over. I don't want to use acid. You can see in dots like that. So I'm just going to, while the surface is wet, I've got hyper compound um, and a wool pad. Let's go for it. Do you want the Iron X or the Ferrex to be wet? something that I think I can get at. I may give it a few more sprints. But if I really want to be good... Nothing beats a clean pad. Hyper compound. And let's try it. If I just spray some Ferrex on the paint, you're going to be really surprised at how much contamination still exists. Because to be honest with you, I've already clayed this thing and I'll bet this stuff turns purple pretty quickly. I'm going to give that a second to dwell and while I do that I'm going to grab my polisher which so happens to be Oberic Supreme Cut Microfiber Pad. Um, let's take a look here. 
Now I'm seeing a lot of contaminants on this hood turning purple while the paint is still moved up. 